Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we're talking about debts and deficits uh, financially, I'm here to talk about a freedom debt and a freedom deficit that's occurring in parts around the world. One that I've been focused on a lot is the country of Belarus, the last dictatorship in Europe. The political and economic and human rights situation in Belarus has significantly deteriorated. A total of 33 opposition leaders and activists are still being held in prison for peacefully protesting against the dictatorial regime and falsified 2010 presidential election. Silent protests have sprung up on an online campaign called Revolution Through Social Networks, which encourages people to come to their localities, central squares, every Wednesday to express discontent with the Lukashenko regime. Opposition activists, journalists, and ordinary people have and continue to be arrested. The authorities have also launched a distributed denial of service attacks on opposition websites. The United States and the European Union continue to condemn these activities. We must think strategically about Belarus post Lukashenko when the people of Belarus are finally able to establish a democratic society based upon the principles of a free market economy. In anticipation of that day, each and every one should prepare now so as to be in a position to rapidly assist in the establishment of internationally recognized elections and rules-based transparent governments in Belarus. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back my time.